Hello children. In English, today we'll be doing the justification of the story book, The Magic Tree. Till now, we have read the story and know what the story is about. But today we'll be answering questions from the story and I'm sure you all are ready for it. Yes, listen to the question properly and based on the questions, answer them with the help of your book. So today, we'll be doing the justification of the story, The Magic Tree. Now, let's move on and open to the first page. What do we see? Two children. Yes, let's guess what their names are. Maya and Ranga. Yes, do you think they are friends? They look like friends, right? And which tree is they, are they talking about? A neem tree. What is falling down from the trees? What can you see? Small fruits are falling down from the tree. Why does Ranga call it a magic tree? Because grandma says if they are strong and healthy. Yes, because grandma says that the tree makes them, the fruits of the tree makes them strong and healthy. Now let's move on to the next page. Now, why do Maya think the tree will grant wishes? Yes, Maya thinks that the tree will grant wishes because he calls it a magic tree. Yes? Now, what does the word Dadi mean here? Dadi means grandmother. Yes, in Hindi, we call grandmother as Dadi. What does Maya want to do with this tree? She wants to take it to her house, right? So now, why does Maya want to take the tree? Yes, Maya wants to take the tree because it is a magic tree and will grant all her wishes. Now, what does Maya's father say? They cannot take the tree and what can they take instead? So, Maya say, Maya's father says they cannot take the tree because it is very big. Yes, it will not fit into their house. And what can they take instead? They can take the seeds instead. Yes, and some seeds, yes. What will the seeds, what will they do with the seeds? Yes, with the seeds, they are going to plant another tree. They are going to plant another tree. So why is Maya's father removing the seeds? With the help of the seeds, the plant will go and then we will have the seeds and they can take plant a new tree. So that is why Maya's father is removing the seeds. Why is Maya filling a pot with mud? Maya is filling the pot with mud. And why does the seed need to be put in the mud? Because it will help it to grow. It will help it to become big. Because to, for a plant to become a, for a seed to become a plant, we need mud. We need the soil. Now, why is Maya, what is Maya doing to help the plant or the seed grow? What is it that she is doing? She is pouring some water. Can you see the water she is splashing? Yes, she is pouring some water. Water which will help the plant to grow. Now, what is Maya doing? Why is Maya feeling sad? You can see she is very sad because she still cannot see any seed or any plant. She needs a plant. Yes, she wants to see the plant grow. So that is why Maya is sad. Why did Maya put the pot in the sunlight? Because for the plant to grow, it needs air, water and sunlight. And why is Maya still sad? Because this plant has not yet grown and she wants to see the plant. So she has, she's feeling sad. She's waiting for the plant to grow. Yes, she's waiting for the plant to grow. That is why she's feeling sad and she hoped that the plant will grow fast. So now, what does Maya's father say to cheer her up? Maya's father says the magic is happening. It is going to be fast when you can see the 
magic but why can't maya see what is happening in the seed because the root of the plant is growing under the soil yes and it is not being seen from the top of the plant of the pot now how many days has passed by since the plant is fasting after 5 days it is 5 days now what has grown out of the soil a small stem has grown outside the soil yes a small stem has can be seen outside the soil after 5 days why do you think it took so long because every day a plant grows very slowly and it grows one part at a time and first we can see nothing because it is growing under the soil and then we can see it that it grows up what is grown on top of the stem yes we can see small small leaves that are grown on top of the stem okay now what you can see after 10 days the plant has grown and how tall it has become as tall as maya and does it have many leaves yes now it has many leaves right now do you think the plant will grow taller than maya yes the plant will grow taller than maya yes because it is going to become a tree so once a tree is pretty tall and maya is a small baby so now what can what is the father doing the father is digging the soil to plant the tree and how is maya helping maya is helping by helping her father plant the tree in the ground because it has to be moved from the pot to the ground how tall does her father say the tree will grow the father grow the father says the tree will grow as tall as the mango tree <clears throat> it will grow as tall as the mango tree yes and how is maya what does maya have to do to take care of the tree she has to water it and make sure no one cuts it down so now what she has to do two things one is water it and see that no one cuts it down then only the tree is going to be big and this is how maya has to take care of it uh why do you think that she thinks all trees are magical she thinks all trees are magical because they are growing on its own slowly and gradually and do you think she's going to plant more trees yes she'll surely plant more trees because she says at the end may we plant one more so now we are able to answer the few questions from the story and we have read the story also right children so please revise and go through this again so that you have a better understanding of the story